What's up, YouTube? It's your boy YTD back with another video, man. And today I'm gonna be showing y'all how a fuel hauler drops a load of gas. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we just pulled up to the delivery. I'm delivering at a store that I ain't never delivered to. And let me mention this, y'all. I'm gonna mention this. Y'all gonna notice something different, but I'm not gonna point it out. I want y'all to point it out in the comments and let me know what y'all notice is different. It ain't hard, but it's real, it's real easy, y'all, real easy. First thing, y'all, when I get to my stores, I always go check the UST permit and I go get me a Vita root. Okay, so for y'all that don't know, the Vita root is your gas measurement. It's like a little machine that every gas station has and it pretty much gives you an estimate, not an estimate, but it try to give you an exact measurement of how much gas they actually have in the tank, but it could be a couple inches off, just depends on, you know, if it's old, new, whatever, depends on the gas station quality, all of that good stuff. Okay, it just pretty much tells you the gallons. I'm dropping a whole load of regular. So right now we got a 20,000, gallon tank it says it has 5,652 gallons which i'm going to try to confirm because everywhere you go even though you got one of these and it tells you this you always want to rely on your stick man the stick will never lie be real it just gives me something it gives me something to go off of like an estimate almost like kind of like a an expectation almost you know so if that's way off from what my stick reading then this just goes in the trash. You know, it wouldn't mean anything because you always, always go off of your stick. So y'all can pretty much see where my drops are. That's gonna be my only drop that I got to deal with. So the first thing I'll be doing is getting my cones. You don't want people to come in your area, you know, start knocking shit over, hitting, hitting your drops. And you know, now they got something to blame you for and try to get insurance claims and a whole bunch of, unnecessary drama that nobody wants. So I'll pretty much mark off my whole little area stating that this is my area. Y'all don't come in here. We go ahead and we pop our lids. God damn. Mm, damn. All right, that motherfucker. <clears throat> there we go. So this is our regular. Then we got our vapor. So I'm doing this all with one hand right now, which is kind of hard, but it's good. You know, I grab my stick. And then when I stick the tank, I'm gonna check the water with this little paste that we got. All right, guys, I had to go on a little scavenger hunt to find our water paste. This is how we find out if it's water in the tank or not when we stick it so usually just take a little bit just smear it on the end like that that's all you really need you see that it's yellow if there's water in the tank it's going to turn purple so let's find out i just let it sit there for like a second and we pull it back up see where that line is at all right I don't know if y'all can see it, but look like we got 39 inches. Now that we got our measurement, we'll go back to our truck. Now y'all see, I stuck 39 inches. So on my paperwork, I'm gonna go ahead and mark down 39 inches so I don't forget it. And then I'm gonna also comp compare it to this Vita root. Now for the regular tank, the inches are 38.77. And that puts us at, like I said, 5,652 gallons. So, looks like we're close and we're on the money. But I'm gonna go over here to my red book. Not my red book, but we got this book, you know, with a whole bunch of tank charts in it. And, you know, it helps us pretty much find, you know, how much gallons it is. So I'm at a Murphy store and all our Murphys use the same gallons. I mean, use the same tanks. So I already know I'm gonna be using this 20 gallon chart so i stuck 39 inches so i'll go on here try to find 39 it's not on my first page so on my second page 39 inches puts me at 
554 gallons. So I'll go ahead and I'll write it up here. 5,554 gallons. And what I usually do from here is my calculation. So I'll do 500, I mean 5,554 gallons plus the 9,000 gallons that I'm dropping and I'll write my estimate over here. So my estimate has to be lower than what my 90K, I mean, not, not my 90K, my 90% 90 eulogies, which is 18K. I cannot fill this 20,000 gallon tank over 18,000 gallons. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my math. I'm gonna get back with y'all. So I added how much I have in the tank now, plus to what I'll be dropping. It gave me 14,554 gallons. That number right there is under my 18,000 uh, gallon mark. So now I know we good to drop. I know that everything I got on this truck is gonna fit in the ground. So it shouldn't be nowhere. So now that I know we can go ahead and proceed with the delivery, I'm gonna go ahead and set y'all up and y'all gonna be able to see pretty much what I do from here. Now that I got all the paperwork done, all the numbers done, I got everything situated, UST permit is valid and the gallons are gonna fit. It's time to get the drop. So let's go ahead and set y'all up. And that's all it is, y'all. That's all it is now. We got the fuel flowing. I'm going to actively watch it. But usually, I'll take this time while I'm just standing here waiting. I'll step over to the truck and I'll start. I'll get started on my paperwork. So that way, I kind of make the most of my time. I'm not in no rush, but y'all can tell. Whew, I'm a lot of breath. I'm not gonna lie. And then it's like eight degrees out here. So y'all know when you do this job, man. You're going to work. You're going to be out here in the sun. You're not holding the steering wheel all day. Rain, sleep. I don't know if we going if we do this in the snow because it's it can be dangerous. I didn't really have a winter season where it snowed to where I had to worry about it. But yeah, any weather, you know, if it's if it was pouring down raining right now, out here dropping gas, y'all, getting it done. That's what that's what happens. So thunderstorms. You can maybe chill on the thunderstorms because you know that lightning. I don't know, the lightning and gas, I'll probably wait to let the uh, storm pass over, depending on how bad it is, before I actually start dropping and stuff. But y'all can see, we got five compartments. We're gonna empty all five of these compartments into that one regular hole. 
it takes a little minute it's usually about you know eight minutes is like this one right here this compartment is a 2500 but i loaded it with 24 and i think it's uh like 300 gallons 350 gallons a minute so it may be like six or seven minutes before that one drops and then i got a 21 that's full i got a thousand that's full i got a 1500 compartment that's full and i got a <clears throat> another 2100 compartment that's filled with 2000 so you know each delivery each delivery usually takes about 30 minutes 30 minutes of dropping time y'all so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna jump to the truck still maintaining a line of sight with the fuel that's dropping i'm not far away but we gonna go ahead and do some paperwork and if y'all made it this far man if y'all really want to do tanker y'all i got a uh how to get your tanker and hazmat video i'll try to put it at one of these corners i don't know which one it is one of those and y'all can click that link and y'all figure out how to get your hazmat and tankers man but i done finished up the paperwork it's just a little not not even much y'all you just write your city your store number your before inches uh your mark your water your you know you got low numbers and stuff like that that's uh unique to each different load which is going to change so other than that y'all that compartment is still dropping i told y'all it's going to be like maybe eight seven eight nine minutes you know but you just pretty much stand here wait you be you be a manager that's pretty much all it is you just manage and watch it it's not hard the hardest part i would say is standing out here in the sun i'm glad i got my hat today i'm glad i got my hat and y'all can see man i'm sweating like i got sweat droplets all on my arms like i don't know if y'all can see it but and earlier in the video i told y'all i wanted y'all to notice you know what changed and if y'all notice what changed by now i'm gonna make a video on that too y'all i'm gonna make a, a video on that too but it had a lot to do i had a lot to do with this youtube channel and y'all know man i love doing youtube i love helping y'all out you know i do what i can to um you know put out information help 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 y'all guys because you know i really didn't have too much help in the industry as far as information you know like youtube was my was my biggest teacher when it when it came to this so you know i just feel like it's my duty since this is the platform that i learned on to go put the information you know that i learned back out there and you know i just have hopes that this helps y'all y'all hear that So yeah, man, if y'all heard that sound, that's called flushing. That's whenever, you know, this compartment, the one that I'm sitting in right in front of, it just emptied out the rest of the gas. And usually I'll let it sit there for like another 30 seconds because it still trickles down, you know, still, um, y'all know, y'all get what I'm saying, man. So if I was to go ahead and pull the hose off now, you know, it could be a few gallons in there that's still inside the tank that will flush down, but I'll have to come back and then re-empty it any but i do that anyways but you know to minimize that i'll go ahead and let it sit here for like 30 seconds so that's it so if y'all look right here this is called your sight glass and you can see it look like it's filling back up because it's already drained so there's not enough pressure coming down this hose to push the rest of the fuel into the elbow so what i'll do is let me grab my glove i'll go ahead and just pick this hose up and then you can you can feel it too like you can feel the gas in the hose actually like empty out you can feel it it'll do like a little bit of shaking i'll drop it back down like like this pull it right back up and if you look back the compartment has emptied out but if you look real closely it's still trickling down so you know, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to my next compartment, but I'll still have to probably come back and drain that compartment again, because you don't want a compartment to overfill. I mean, to have too much residue in it. And then when you go back to go get loaded, you end up probing out. Probing out is not a good thing, y'all. It's not a good thing.
I can see our second compartment has just finished up. And here's our first compartment again. The sight glass is filled back up to almost full. It's not full yet, but it's almost full. But that's what I was mentioning to y'all. By the time this compartment would finish, this one would have filled back up. So I know I'm gonna have to go ahead and drain this one again. But this sight glass is real, it's, it's, it's clear. I can tell that this one is new. And this one is probably newer because these little handles right here, they're spring they're spring loaded so whenever you take it off it can slam back and that slam could cause enough um i don't know in pressure or whatever to break this glass and it will actually cause you to leak fuel all over the place so you do not want to break any of these glasses or you will have a big problem but i thought it would probably be good for me to tell y'all man no matter the circumstances no matter what happened YTD ain't never going to stop, y'all. We we three years in, almost three years in, in a few months be three years. You know, a lot of obstacles, a lot of unexpected situations, a lot of L's, a lot of losses, a lot of W's in, in you know, that, that came along the way. But regardless of y'all, of what happens, God will always have a way. If there's a will, there's a way. If you got a will, God going to make a way, man. So you just make sure that you never, never give up on yourself. You be confident, you reassure that your hard work, your uh, your patience and all that good stuff will eventually pay off one day. And that's what I'm hoping y'all. Like y'all know what my goals are, man. I eventually want to be an owner operator on my own truck. And I think, you know, after all the industries that I've been in, I feel like being an owner operator in the fuel hauling business would probably be what's best. What's best for me, what's best for my family, you know, all that good stuff. And the most profitable, the most profitable, man. So those are my, those are my down the road goals. Y'all know, but I'm trying, hey, I'm trying to get rich. I don't know about y'all, man, but like, it's a lot of money to be made out here. And it's like, why, why can't I make it? Why can't I be the one to make all the money? You know, and money doesn't rule everything, but money can make sure that you're comfortable, you're not stressed out, you're in positions, you know, to where if something bad happens, you can get yourself out. You know, you, you can recover. You can recover from a lot of things a whole lot, a whole lot differently. So you just gotta just gotta work hard, be consistent, and build to where you're trying to get. You're gonna go through stages and phases. And the worst thing you could do is give up. Just don't give up. Keep pushing. Don't matter what the what these cars, man. It don't matter what obstacles are in the way. You have to get over them. It don't matter what it is. I'm telling you, like, I mean I mean like there's absolutely no excuse. There's no excuse. No none of that. Or whatever obstacles you got in front of you that you think is stopping you from doing trucking you gotta do it if you did if this is what you want to do you ain't gotta do it but this is what you want to do then you gotta do it you know so y'all sleep on that man you make your mind up yeah i just want y'all to see this man y'all see the sweat come out of my pores yo it's gonna be you <laughs> if you decide to do this man i'm telling you it ain't for the week this job is not for the week but we checking back in. This sight glass has almost filled back up. This one has filled back up. This one is empty. That one is empty. And this one is finishing up. These two didn't fill back up a lot because I'm kind of on a decline right now. So your compartments, if you're on a decline, your compartments in the front are gonna have a whole lot harder uh, to pretty much empty out it's just going to take longer and it's going to trickle a whole lot longer the back compartments they're going to be done man you ain't gonna to have to worry about it like i didn't drain this one i didn't and i didn't uh drain this one well after i already drained it and moved on to the next hole these didn't fill up at all but this one as y'all can see i'm gonna let that one sit for a little bit more longer and it's not gonna fill up but these two been sitting and i purposely let these two sit and i purposely did these two first for the fact that they can sit and I can get the rest of the gas out whenever that compartment is finished. 
But all right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and set this camera back up. I'm going to go ahead and finish out my last compartment, put everything back, get everything looking good, get my measurements, my numbers, and all that stuff so I can turn it into the store and we can hit the road. All right, y'all, my phone is somewhat stupid. It didn't get me cleaning up, getting all that, getting my measurements, but I did measure the tank at 80 inches after I put everything up. So back to some more paperwork. So I got my before and my after. My before, if y'all remember, was 39. My after is 80. So I'm gonna go back into my binder, into my binder. It was this first tank chart right here that I was using. Now we're looking for 80. 80 puts me at, I'm looking for it, I'm looking for it, it's on that page. 14,321 gallons. And my estimate was 14,504. So that actually shows I did drop all of my gallons because while I'm dropping gas, people are also getting gas. So within the 30 to 45 minutes I've been here, people probably did pump close to around 200 uh, gallons since I've been dropping in the ground. So that's where that discrepancy comes from. But other than that, y'all, I'm gonna finish up my paperwork and we're gonna get up out of here. All right, y'all, now that we back in the truck, I went and grabbed me an after Vita Root, which is your gas measurement, to confirm that I did, did drop my 9,000 gallons, and I did. This is just so like you can check yourself, so you know that you ain't leave a whole compartment full on the truck that you might have overlooked or anything like that. So that's really it, y'all. I'm gonna sit here and do my paperwork, Take my pictures of my BOLs and stuff, and I'm going to go in for the next load. But I ain't going to sit here and have y'all and hold y'all through that, man. I done showed y'all, you know what I'm saying, pretty much what you do. All the meat, the meat stuff. It's still a little bit of other little small details that you can do that I ain't really get to get too much. But I try to give y'all as much information as possible. This is like, you know, a full delivery as a, a gas hauler, dropping a full load of regular at a gas station, man. It's not that hard, you know. You do get a little bit sweaty, do get a little bit tired, but that comes with the job, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if this is what you want to do, you do it, you know? So, I ain't going to sit here and hold y'all. It's your boy YTD. We out. Peace. Peace.